folks, and welcome back to another edition of uh, New Zealand's World with the Wellington Phoenix. I am Pakira. Uh, no webcam today, but um, we'll get into it. And we'll just before we get to the game, let's just cover where we last left you for um, Double Header Friday. So as you know, we picked up some good wins there against the Victory and Raw. We have then followed this up with a solid 3-0 win against Sydney FC. Um, Charlie Brown, Krishna and Mal getting in, in the goals there. Very good um, ratings, as you'll see there, for the team as well. We then, <coughs> well, really just free fall. Um, and this was a 3-1 loss at Melbourne, to Melbourne City. Uh, Sing got the goal for us, but as you can see, very late on in the 70th minute, we were 3-0 down beforehand. Uh, they um, scored from a penalty and then uh, two normal goals. Very disappointed with this. And in this game here, I had kind of made a slight change as well, um, just because of a player being back from international duty. So what I had done was uh, put Krishna in the squad, or back in the team, as that false nine sort of defeat, um, advanced pl um, playmaker role sort of deal. Uh, now with Western Spring, uh, Sydney as well, we um, hosted Western Sydney, in the game we again were favourites for, and we lost 1-0 here to a 65th minute game, a goal, it was, um, there was nothing in the game at all, really, um, it was one of, uh, definitely would have been a bore fest, uh, again, uh, very disappointing, and again, that, um, after two games there, uh, with a 6.1 and a 6.3 rating, uh, we decided to drop Krishna from that role and bring Singh, um, Singh back into that false nine position. Um, and immediately we picked up a 2-1 win against Newcastle Jets. Um, on this game, Krishna did still play, but he didn't play that long. Um, and uh, he didn't actually play in that false nine. I put him on the wing. Singh coming away with a 7.1 there. Two goals by Charlie Brown. Um, and to be fair, it was a tough old battle. Uh, tougher than I thought. Um, it was one all, obviously, until the 96th minute where um, Andrew Hall just managed to um, put away a great goal there to secure us a last-minute win. Uh, well and truly, it's a Fergie time there. So today we will be facing uh, Perth Glory. And, uh, yeah, so, the, you know, our run of form has been decent. As you can see, we've picked up those two losses. And Perth are inconsistent there as we uh, go to uh, their home ground. And the team is pretty much unchanged. So we've got Singen, Goal, Galloway, Eugene, Mullen, Thornley as the defence. Midfield, we've got Hall, who's uh, come back from that injury he sustained. We've got Rose and Spencer in the middle and um, Am Amanicus on the left today. Singh on that false nine roll, supported by Brown up front. The subs are pretty much going to be Archie, uh, Simovich, Capoeira, Hignett and Mal. Uh, there's, I mean, Esparta is coming back from his injury and I just made the decision and it's a tough decision because uh, Elroy Krishna is now um, a reserve team player who is available for the first team if needed. He is deemed surplus to requirement by all the coaches and he's just not getting the job done. Obviously as that false nine position is not suited for him but when I was playing him as uh, just up front here next to Brown it just didn't work, and since I just changed back with back to having seen that role, it's kind of just offered a little bit more. So, match day is, of course, Perth Glory versus Wellington Phoenix in the Hyundai A-League. So let's go into this dressing room now. Uh, Greenacre reckons we should encourage the teams pretty much to, you know, what your default, what you get for every game. Um... I don't think really the if, uh, we're underdogs. It suits us to go out there and cause an upset. No, good luck, Labs. It's, uh, I'm expecting a win today, boys. Yeah, I am expecting a win. We are still somehow first, um, even with those two losses. 
so it was quite interesting there. Um, we must have had a decent lead. Uh, it's not the best weather for football out there. How do you think the conditions will affect performance, mate? We come from Wellington. We're used to the bad weather. A little bit of weather ain't going to hurt us at all. Interesting question there. Um, and we'll kick off. At Perth Glory's home ground. I'm not really sure of the name of their stadium, to be honest. Which is uh, unusual. Okay, so we've got a position here. Galloway with a nice long throw. Hall runs along the flank. He's man on. Loses position. So Perth are coming at us now. Well and truly. If, if it goes for shot, and we're lucky there with uh, the ball hit the uh, upright. So straight away, uh, we were found out there. Singh's got a bruised shin. Okay, well... It's only a bruise. Okay, so Tugart's going there. We've got around us. Good save by the keeper. Corner. Okay, so they are coming at us now a little bit. It's only early days, six minutes. We just gotta, we just gotta soak up that little bit of pressure. If we can do that, I think we'll be okay. Oh, Perth Rectangular Stadium. That's the name of the stadium. Wow. Okay, so Singh has a lot of potential lower leg injury. But his fitness-wise is still okay. Okay, so perfect for the ball. They're going very long there. Eugene Wilson. They're looking for target now. He's just beating his man again. And things there to pair it away. And it's another corner to Perth glory. Perth and Wellington do kind of have a... I guess the closest you'll say to, to a rivalry within the A-League. Um, I don't know. It's kind of... I guess it's growing from the fact of just the distances both teams play from the rest of the league. Um, I really don't know why, but it's um, always the Phoenix always up for a good game against Perth as well, and vice versa. It's just one of those teams. Uh, we're losing position here so much. My goodness gracious me, what's going on? So I haven't played this for a wee while. Oh well, uh, obviously all Fridays and things were recorded quite early, probably almost a week ago actually. Um, Oh, Armand Kenneth, yes, gets across. Brown, is he going to look for it? In case, oh, he was looking for it. Thornley back to Spencer, to Rose. Okay, we've got some position here, guys. Let's keep, let's keep this position to Brown. Brown looks for Singh. Singh's going to take it. Looks at Brown. Brown turns and shoots, and we scored the goal. Yes. <coughs> well, we soaked up a lot of pressure, and we've managed to get, do, get done what we need to get done, and that's a, some good phases there of attacking. And we managed to uh, turn that into a goal. Now that is the way we need to go. Yeah, Sink's still alright. I think he'll be fine. We are giving Tagger a lot of space. So I will agree with the instructions there from the assistant manager. Brown again. Finds Sing. Sing. Ooh, shot first time. I wouldn't like to say he touched, but he probably didn't have the time for that, actually, to be honest. So here they come again. 33 minutes. And we're just going to give them a good encouragement here. And we've soaked up that pressure well. And uh, we are now on the uh, attack again once more with that 1-0 lead. Obviously, now comes target. We're we'll supposed to be closing him down a little bit more. And it seems to be working. He's got less time on the ball, though he's got a fair bit right now. The cross is over, but we managed to uh, get to the ball there first. Now, target's coming in there. Oh, what a miss. And what a... Oh. That is a tin ass, what I would call a tin ass goal. He missed the header, yep. <coughs> Excuse me, Eugene missed the header, and it was just allowed the Phoenix player just to just to get the ball in the back of the net there, really from a position that should have been well and truly covered there. It would just And the keeper just completely just misread that whole situation as well. And fair enough, I guess we should have had that covered, and Eugene knows it. So it's back even level playing field now, one all Phoenix and Perth Glory as we approach the half time. So half time, it's an interesting match. We do need to probably look at some changes. Maybe not in personnel just yet. I don't like making too many um, half time changes. But maybe we're going to have to look at some of our tactics. I'm going to go a bit assertive here. Un unlucky boys. Listen. Um, yep, we'll do that one. A couple of players seem to take some sort of encouragement from that. 
Okay, so let's just have a look at my tactics very quickly here, guys. Try not to... Um, now we are playing counter, which is interesting. Okay. But short passing. I think, we're going to go more direct passing. I think counter with more direct passing to me works a little bit better. We will stick, yeah, we'll keep sticking with our positions and a little bit more disciplined. Um, let's not get work the ball into box. Let's just hit those early crosses instead and see what we can do with those. And uh, let's exploit the flanks and play wider. And I don't, I'm just going to clear the ball to flanks as well, just for this one. Okay, just for a little bit of a change, and let's start that second half. We'll just see how we go here. We just, we are doing okay when we get some attacks, but <clears throat> they're also getting very good um, phases coming through. And it's a bit of a concern there. Although, to be fair, that goal was, in my opinion, like I said, a bit of a a titty goal. Okay, so Singh's still looking at 77%. I think I might actually bring him on off now. Um, I don't know who we're going to put on there. Uh, actually, I do have an idea. What we're going to do is we're going to put Mal there. Okay, we're going to put Mal in his normal position. I know. Um, oops, hang on, what have I done? I thought I'd made change. No, I hadn't made the change yet. I just made the positional change. I'm going to put him as a target man. And he's going to be a supporting target man. And we'll just make that small little change up the front there. I think we'll be all right there. Krishna has picked up a knock, but what I did recall seeing is it was just a, a Bruce Shin. So that should not take him out of for any period of time at all. Uh, however, we might as well make that change because he, he's doing okay, but he wasn't doing anything spectacular. Good clearance there by Eugene. Rose has got the ball now. Let's just run that space, Rose. We've got a man coming. Went for the, the early cross, which is what I had instructed. Uh, Mal just wasn't in position, and also we just cross found nobody at all. So we'll have to keep an eye on those. Good ball. Rose is intercepted there. Eugene goes long. Mal's there now. He's got Brown. He finds Brown. That was fantastic there. Mal was a great insight there to find Brown. Brown just slots at home, makes a huge difference here. Well done, Mal. Fantastic assist. And Brown finishing it off just wonderfully here. And, I mean, yeah, and just Eugene just whacked it nice and long. There's that direct passing. <coughs> and that could have all gone to, you know, that could have all gone because Custer, that little last bit of phase there, perfectly executed by both players. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what we want to do, and that's what we want to see more of. So, I like that. We'll give them a bit of encouragement now going to that. The last qu quarter. Okay, well done. Okay, so who do we, now? Galloway. He's on the yellow. I know we're on the other No, we'll make a, probably make a substitution as well. Um, probably about now, actually. We'll just have another substitution. Just one more. Uh, I think Hull's playing fairly well. He is a bit knackered um, in comparison to everybody else. Uh, it's just a who do we bring on now and he is a really good player so what I'm going to do is probably not change any midfield I am probably going to look at Hingard on for Galloway just because Galloway has got that yellow card and if we can uh, try not to change that yellow into a red it would make our chances better of keeping and this lead and coming away with another one so Feel free to waste time, goalkeeper. Oh, beautiful there. I tell you what, I went to the football on Saturday here. It's North Shore United. Uh, we played Waiheke Island, uh, who were second in the table. Ooh, a shot there. Two good click tackles there, too, by the lads. And it's back to no land. Yes, so we played Waiheke. We were second in the table here. Uh, and within the first four minutes, they had a player sent off. Red, straight red card. A uh, bit harsh, harsh call. It was a 50-50 ball. Should have been a yellow. Um, our player went for a ball with his head, and the, their player went and decided to use the foot. Guess where the foot, and what the foot meant. The foot meant the head. So, yeah. Um, but still, uh, it was frustrating first half. They just obviously closed up. It was a really good game, uh, both teams. We managed to come away with a 2-0 win there, though, in the end. But it was a very good, entertaining match. Frustrating, especially in that, until we got that first goal. It took a wee while. Um, but... Uh, 
that's the end of the series. That's the end of the series. No way, it's not the end of the series. That's the end of the game. So a hard fought two one win. I'm, I'm I'm impressed with that. I am very happy that we were able to pick up that win there. I'm going to go calm here. No, we're going to go a bit of, uh, We're not passionate about it. I actually think we should be done. People have been lost today. You proved them wrong. Well done. What a great result. Excellent. Okay. And we'll just see what Green Acre wants to say. And we'll leave the match right there, I believe. So what we'll do, we've got this scheduled for, we'll come back um, against Adelaide United, guys. And um, we'll see you then. So I am Pakera. I hope you did enjoy this. Uh, let's actually just see what Sing is out for. Yeah, out for a day. It's just simple as that. So, like I said, we're going to go schedule here. Just show you. We are. I mean, I'm planning just to come back for the Adelaide match. So yes, again, we are kind of just. I'm going to just only be playing the one match before. Then we come back for Adelaide. Well, then the plan is on Friday we're going to have a Sydney double here. So it'll be Sydney FC and Western uh, Sydney. So you'll come back for Friday's game against that. Wednesday will be obviously Adelaide. And then we're probably looking at Monday for the Jets down here. Um, and then it'll be depending on the rest of the season, which would be the final series most likely. Okay, so I am Pakira, guys. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. As always, please comment down below. I really do enjoy the comments and the interaction. And, you know, something I, I just want to kind of have more of. Um, and I do try to reply to all the comments. And um, if you like this video, hit that like button. Please subscribe if you are new. Now, if you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell uh, because YouTube likes to screw things up and tell you nothing if you don't hit that bell. Okay, guys, I'm Pakira. Out of here. Thank you. Bye.